Mites! Welcome back to Brian Bloop! I'm, I don't know why I gave the long intro, I just thought my, maybe I looked funny. But yeah, welcome back to Brain Bloop, the show where you get to just see me raw dog in life and just get to see what's going on. And today, I have finally become responsible and prepared some, just some shit to talk about. Uh, first thing I want to talk about was remind everybody of Team C's. You know the, uh, the charity Mr. Beast is doing? To raise 30 million dollars? Go raise 30 million dollars. Go do it. Then, oh man, I, I don't know. I guess, I, I, you know, I'm trying to get more used to the feel of just like talking, you know, and being able to like slowly like transition between stuff. Man, I'm just trying to do everyone's YouTuber job by myself. This is epic, bruh. I love doing this. It makes me just so happy to make videos. But, um, speaking of happy... Alright, um, other than that, speaking of happy, Kanye West and Soulja Boy. Dude, I, I wanted to talk about this, but my, my little pea brain can't uh, keep anything uh, inside of it for more than 25 seconds. But yeah, so, Soulja Boy was actually supposed to be on Kanye West Donda. Donda, I don't know why I said it like that. And uh, he went on to, like, Kanye West went on to, like, The Breakfast Club. And he aired out Soulja Boy and was kind of being a dick, I'm not gonna lie. And then, um, Soulja Boy put online, like, uh, on a Twitch stream. He was, like, freaking the fuck out, like, being angry. And honestly, I mean, if Kanye West did that to me, I I'd probably be pretty fucking mad, too, honestly. I mean, he overreacted a little bit, but, like, honestly, if Kanye West is going to be an asshole, just do what you want, because at that point, you like, Kanye West is talking to you, <laughs> like, right? Uh, but actually, good on Kanye, though. He reached out to him after the fact... And they made up, and like, I think everything's good now between them. But man, imagine just that for me, that would be like Eminem coming up to me or going, uh, like to my best friends and being like, yo, your friend is ass at everything he does. I just don't think I'd have a lot of fun, you know? Hey, yo, guys, sorry, I had to do a little bit of a hard cut. But we are back, so that's what matters. But yeah, did I did I end up finishing the whole Soldier Boy thing? I, I I hope I did because I'm done talking about it now, right? So what's next on our list? Taylor Swift's Red. I mean, cool. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. The, the it's probably gonna be the title of this video because it's so relevant. But. Uh, if Chloe's watching this, which, ugh, fuck, if, if the title's that, I gotta be, I gotta be careful here, but to not be offensive. <laughs> uh, not that I don't like Taylor Swift, it's just not my vibe of music. I think it's cool what she's doing. It's cool that, uh, she broke out of her fucking label and junk, but, like, Jake Gyllenhaal is, is hot as fuck, bro. Like, <laughs> like, that guy is, like... <laughs> Why did I say hot as fuck? I mean, he looks like Chris Pratt. Not like Chris Pratt, but like, like they're in the same league, you know what I mean? Like, like how could you ever be mad at that man? He looks like a Greek god. I would say the same thing about uh, Chris Hemsworth. I mean, and also in uh, Far From Home, he played a great Mysterio. So what is next? I'm gonna open up my phone and look. I am having Thanksgiving with my family today, and I will be getting a pumpkin roll for them to eat and put on a shmi. Okay, no, um, but, yeah, no, I mean, Taylor Swift, though. I mean, like, on her end, I mean, I don't really know what their breakup was about. I mean, you can, you can, uh... Educate me in the comments below if, if anyone's watching <coughs> Chloe. Um, yo! The serotonin is rushing through my brains! Do, 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 do,
Yeah, big moon, I'm gonna go crazy like a Megatron, go into the sky like I'm going, oh my god. I'm, I, I hate that line, but it's, it's fun to use ironically. Megatron into the sky and then I'm gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like I should have something else to say about her. I don't know. I, I think the only thing that's kind of just weird about it is just like, I don't know. It's like, like I can get behind like the support of like Rihanna and Doja Cat. It's just, I don't, well, I, not that I don't support Taylor Swift. It's just like, it kind of comes off weird to me that it's, it's like everyone just worships a blonde girl with blue eyes. I don't know. I, I know that there's nothing Hitler related here, but it's just, I don't know, like, like, like my brain just makes those connections and then it just makes me uncomfortable. I know there's no connection there, but that's just how I think. Um, so yeah, Taylor Swift's a Nazi. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She's not a Nazi that I know of. So yeah, what is the coolest element from Avatar, in my opinion? Hmm, what is the coolest element? Well, okay, so we got fire, we've got earth, uh, we got air, and we got water. Now, hmm, uh, let, 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 let's just kind of go over them first. So water bending, you know, you, you got the whip kind of go shit going on, uh, like, and also, uh, I know all of them, all the forms are based on, uh, like, real, like, actual, like, martial arts. But here's the thing. I don't give a fuck about that kind of shit. I'm going 100% off my bias and what I think. And if you think my opinion's wrong, suck on my dick, you little bitch ass shit. <laughs> but okay, so water. Um, It's not boring, but it's not exactly like awesome, you know? That, that, that would be my opinion. And... It, like you can freeze people and shit, which is cool. There's the healing aspect of it Like you can like put water over someone and you're just like I'm Wolverine Um, oh, did you guys get you guys got to hear my uh, speaker turn off, but um, eh. I mean water bending uh, I, Honestly, I put it at the end of my list for like bending that I would want to do now Let's talk about earth bending my buddy Liam, he thinks earthbending's pretty cool. Uh, well, he likes fire one more, but uh, I don't know why I brought Liam up. He, I just live with him. He's on my, he, uh, he, look, he's next door. Um, but earthbending, I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, I thought it would just look fucking kind of stupid, because I mean, if you, in, in reality, I mean, like if you think about it, like everything is made out of earth a little bit. So wouldn't that just be telekinesis? You know, and then it, it almost just feels too sci-fi to me. Because I have wood on my desk. That's technically earth, right? Maybe it's not. I don't know. There's metal in here. They can do metal bending. Which, I'll give that, though. Metal bending's cool. But, like, it, it just kind of feels like a cop-out. But, like, also at the same time, you have to be, like, super skilled as an earthbender in this show to even get to, like, metal bending levels. So, it's like... I don't know. I, I, I still think it's cooler than water bending because, you know, you can't, like, just bring shit out of the ground. You can make, like, whole, like, houses and stuff, which, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, next on our list. Hmm. Fire or air? I'm, I'm gonna go... Let, fire is my third favorite. Uh... No, 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 it's okay, it's, so it goes air, fire, earth, water, so, fire. Fire is pretty cool. It kind of feels like it's just a hot version of airbending sometimes, but also at the same time, it's like, also kind of like, more of the useless one, because like, with, uh, wind bending, you, I feel like you can bring shit to you, and like, you can like, just blow shit away without actually hurting it, but with, in fire bending, you just like burn everything you touch. Like that's what fire does. So I mean, oh, fire bending, bro. I would put fire bending at A tier, I think, because I believe it's like the best. Like, yeah, I took a Snapchat in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I, I can't even think, guys. I have to get this out of the way. Listen, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Alright. I'm gonna click send. Uh, but yeah, and, uh, fire bending definitely coolest because like, you can fuck shit up. And you, and you got the lightning. Lightning. Come on. That's pretty epic. That's that's what that's what pushes it up to number two, honestly, for me. If if, if yeah, if uh if lightning bending wasn't a thing, I would probably put it, that one at number three, and and earth bending probably at number two. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yo, I like the Wii theme song. It's nice. Uh, and then we have the last and coolest uh, of them all, which would be air bending. Airbending, I, li I literally remember being like a kid. Bruh, did you guys just see me have a brain fart right there? Listen, listen, this is you growing with me on this journey. Right? And that's that's kind of what Brain Bloop is supposed to be. It's it's a podcast. It's me just raw dog in life. I <laughs> that's such a fucking weird saying, but I just find it so funny. Oh, I I had my camera off. There we go. I'm gonna look into getting a neon light for the door, but I gotta get one that's uh, a little bit like not as bright because I have one an, an on air sign, uh, but I can't use it in my videos because it's just too bright. But yeah, wait, fuck. Oh yeah, we were talking about air bending. I apologize. Air bending is the coolest in my opinion. I don't know. Ever since I was a little kid, because like. Okay, where are the fire bending appas? Where are the earth bending appas? Where are the water bending appas? There, no, appa makes airbenders A tier. Or no, 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 S. All right, appa is the best character in Avatar. <laughs> like, uh, like, like, I don't know how they were able to actually just like, they like. For, like, a, a character to show that has, like, so little, like, dialogue to it. Like, like, somehow, like, you're able to, like, feel, like, the love of that character. I love Appa. He's the best. And then, of course, Aang. I mean, he he's whatever. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, Aang. Um, I, I just kind of like the fact of, like, that, like, he's genuinely, like, in the show, it doesn't come off like, 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 uh, like, like the normal trope of... I want to be humble because I'm so powerful, but the way it comes off in the show is actually very, very mature in my opinion. Like, uh, like, like, like he he's doing what he needs to, but like, like in like his moments of like, how would you say a vulnerability? It kind of comes out. And he's like, man, I wish I like didn't have to do this. I could just like do like normal family shit, like. That's from what I remember uh, from the full show. I'm re-watching it right now. The last time I fully watched it was probably, like, years ago. But, yeah. I mean, we're at 13 minutes. Holy shit, guys. I, I didn't even think that that we would get to airbending. And, it honestly, makes me pretty happy. And, like, yo. Should I take a picture of myself once more? You guys? Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a picture of you guys. You guys are gonna like it wow you guys look beautiful uh i'm not gonna show you because it definitely was not a picture of me <laughs> do, do, do. let's vibe a little bit yeah yeah vibe in on the mario song on the mario dong about the mario long he's gonna go up into the sky mario fong yo i love i fucking love this song what is this one I feel like every single time I listen to this, I say this. Yo. Mm -hmm. Let's start it over. Alright, yo, let's vibe. Alright. Yo, this is the end of the video. Why are you here? You should go home. I want you out of my place, out of my face. I want you out of, out, in outer space. Oh my god! <laughs> Boom. I'm YouTubing all day long. I got three videos all on your slong. I got three inches. That's a, how big my dong. <laughs> Yo. 
Yo, fuck yeah. I love all of you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Big Moon!